We're going to be talking about bones in Moho. As you can see here, we have an awesome character design and animation that was created by Pedrin Oscan. You can actually find this and many other talented character designs and animation here in the library folder that you can use to study, re-rig, and watch the different cool animations that others have made. So what is a bone? As you can see here, this character is made up of a bunch of different bones. They're basically what you're gonna be using in the rigging process, and they're also gonna be what you use for your animation. Bones are a pretty important tool because you're gonna be able to use them in Moho to make your animation not only easier, but this is one of the ways that you'll be able to move images. So if you take bitmap images, this is one of the ways that you can move your images. So if you are a story illustrator and you wanna bring those illustrations to life, bones are definitely the way to do it. So let's go ahead and hit play and let's watch these bones in action. So as you can see here, these bones are playing a vital role in your animation process. These bones are actually being used, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you, to move the character. This character itself was created in Anime Studio with the drawing tools, and the drawing tools that it uses are vectors. And so these vectors are all made up of shapes and points, and these bones are controlling all of those shapes and points. And we'll get into what each of these bones are in later tutorials. But just so you can see here, there's a lot of bones that can do a lot of different things, like head turns, they can manipulate eyelids, different eye shapes, opening and closing. So bones, even though they aren't absolutely necessary for your animation, there's actually other methods that you can use, such as point animation and frame by frame animation, or a combination of all of those. It definitely will help you speed up your workflow. If you're a story illustrator and you wanna take your images that you have drawn and import them into Moho and bring them to life, you can do that using Bones. One thing about Bones is obviously they are only going to be in the program whenever you export or render your animation. So this is what your animation is going to look like once it's complete. You won't have any bones or anything like that on it, and you'll just have this really cool animation. So be sure to join me in the next lecture where I will show you how to add bones in Moho, and we'll talk more about those. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial series, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you want to help support the channel, I have the link to all the full paid courses down in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.